Skin hyperpigmentation is one of the most common skin conditions today worldwide and it is not only stubborn to treat but it can be overwhelming finding the right skincare ingredients to treat the excess pigment in the skin. The Ordinary Skincare brand is known for delivering results at affordable prices. So in this video, we share the best products from The Ordinary suited to address hyperpigmentation to remove the guesswork. We take a deep dive into skin science and how each ingredient works at treating hyperpigmentation, how often to use these products and what you can layer for the best results. If you're new here, we post skin education videos on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified each time we post a new video. So firstly, we need to reveal what hyperpigmentation is and what causes it. So you can understand why you need these skin ingredients to help you with your hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation is a natural mechanism of the skin to protect itself from UV radiation. This can lead to freckles, melasma, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or age spots, depending on the trigger. Many factors, both external and internal, affect melanin production, also known as pigment, and causes hyperpigmentation. UV-induced pigment, such as sunspots and freckles, are superficial and present in the upper layers of the skin known as the epidermis. The degree of the pigmentation depends on how much UV light the melanin pigments are exposed to. Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation is a response to injury of the skin and can be the result of acne, burns, friction, or aggressive skin clinical treatments such as chemical peels, laser, and incorrect waxing. This condition resolves with time but responds well to the right skincare ingredients. And melasma, also known as a pregnancy mask, is a pigmentation that is deeper within the skin, the dermis. It has been linked to hormonal imbalances and can be made worse with UV exposure, pregnancy, medications and stress. With the correct treatments and home care, it can be reduced and maintained. Now what creates melanin pigment within the skin is cells called melanocytes. An enzyme called tyrosinase is what communicates with the melanocytes to create more pigment to protect your skin. When it comes to choosing the correct skincare ingredients from the ordinary to treat hyperpigmentation, the best options are tyrosinase inhibitors that stop the communication to the melanocytes and also skincare ingredients that prevent the transfer of pigment from the melanocyte to the keratinocyte in the epidermis. So the first skincare product from The Ordinary we recommend you start your skin journey with is the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. Niacinamide, also known as vitamin B3, is a multitasker skincare ingredient and water-soluble vitamin that is suitable for all skin types and skin conditions. Niacinamide works at both reducing and preventing hyperpigmentation as it is a tyrosinase inhibitor, ensuring each cell is not holding onto too much pigment, but also prevents the transfer of pigment from the melanocyte to the keratinocyte within the epidermis. The Ordinary's Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% is lightweight and applies on the skin as a serum underneath your moisturizer. It can be used morning and or in the evening. This serum is a must-have ingredient to start your pigmentation skincare routine. The next ingredient from The Ordinary to add to your hyperpigmentation skincare routine is the Grand Active Retinoid 2% in Squalene or the Ordinary Retinol 0.2% in Squalene. Retinol, also known as Vitamin A, is a targeted night treatment to help with skin renewal and can affect DNA change in the cells, so this is perfect to help treat hyperpigmentation. Vitamin A is best to use at nighttime when our skin goes into repair mode. When you begin to use vitamin A topically on the skin, it works on the top layer of the epidermis, the stratum corneum. It works at speeding up cell turnover and removing any dead skin cells that aren't meant to be there anymore. It is normal for your skin to go through a phase of being dry and flaky when you begin to use vitamin A. Once it goes through this phase, the skin becomes a lot smoother and softer and your active ingredients can penetrate deeper in the skin to alive cells. Vitamin A travels down the epidermis and interacts with the melanocytes which create pigment in the skin. When melanocytes are damaged, they can produce excess pigment in the skin, giving our skin excess pigmentation or post-inflammatory scarring which can occur with acne. 
Vitamin A will help at correcting and balancing the melanocyte so it is functioning normally. Retinoids are also tyrosinase inhibitors, reducing excess pigment within the melanocyte. For beginners new to vitamin A, we recommend starting with the grain active retinoid 2% in squalene, and then once your skin has grown tolerant, adjust to higher strengths. The grain active retinoid 2% in squalene is a more gentle form of retinoid compared to the other retinols The Ordinary offers in their skincare range. Apply in the evening after water-based serums like niacinamide, but before your moisturizer. If you've been using high strength retinol formulas in your routine, you can look at The Ordinary Retinol 0.2% in squalene. This is a stronger form of vitamin A and may cause redness or peeling, so introduce it every third night and work up to every night. Retinol can make the skin more sensitive to UV radiation, so ensure you are using sun protection during the day if using vitamin A in your routine. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, avoid vitamin A, but keep watching because we have a great ingredient from the range you can use instead to help with your hyperpigmentation. Let us know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway you have learnt so far in this video. The next ordinary skincare product to include in your hyperpigmentation skincare routine is the Ordinary Ascorbic Acid 8% plus Alpha Arbutin 2%. Ascorbic Acid is also known as Vitamin C, and this ingredient with Alpha Arbutin together are amazing antioxidants which will shield against free radical damage. Free radicals cause cellular damage to the skin, causing our skin to not function properly. Vitamin C in Alpha Arbutin is also a tyrosinase inhibitor, which is what allows our melanocytes to release pigment into the skin so when you're using vitamin C topically on the skin, it not only ensures your skin isn't producing excess pigment when you are exposed to the sun, but it works at reducing the pigment present. These two ingredients are brightening ingredients perfect to reduce the signs of hyperpigmentation and dark spots. Keep in mind, vitamin C can be stimulating at first, so it's always best to introduce the ingredient slowly, just a few times a week and build up to every day. Niacinamide and vitamin A don't get on with vitamin C. If you start vitamin C into your routine to help with your hyperpigmentation, use it as a part of your morning skincare routine and use niacinamide and vitamin A in the evening routine. If you want to know the exact order to apply these ordinary skincare products in both the morning and the evening, then keep watching because we reveal this at the end of the video. The next ordinary skincare product you can include in your hyperpigmentation skincare routine is the azelaic acid suspension 10% and this ingredient is perfectly safe if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Azelaic acid addresses hyperpigmentation by decreasing the production of melanin, a natural pigment responsible for producing color within the skin. The ordinary azelaic acid suspension contains 10% azelaic acid and is gentle enough to be used daily in the morning. The ordinary serum is a lightweight texture that should be applied after your water-based serums like niacinamide but before your moisturizer and sunscreen. Azelaic acid can be combined with other topical skincare ingredients, such as niacinamide, retinoids, vitamin C, and alpha hydroxy acids. Finally, the ordinary lactic acid 10% plus HA, hyaluronic acid. Lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid, which is a water soluble chemical exfoliant that works on the skin like a Pac-Man effect to exfoliate and remove dead skin cells. Regular exfoliation will help with superficial pigmentation located within the epidermis, the top layer of the skin, but also able to help your other active ingredients absorb deeper within the skin. This product also includes hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant responsible for holding onto water to rehydrate the skin. It works well paired with lactic acid because sometimes acids can be slightly drying. Lactic acid is gentle for all Fitzpatrick skin types and can be used a few times weekly at nighttime underneath your moisturizer. Niacinamide and retinols should not be mixed with acids. So we recommend using these ingredients on alternating nights to the ordinary lactic acid 10% and HA before your moisturizer. If you decide to use all these ingredients from the ordinary in your skincare routine to treat hyperpigmentation, then this would be the perfect skincare routine order for both morning and evening. In the morning, use the following. Ascorbic acid 8% plus alpha herbutin 2%, followed by azelaic acid 10%, followed by your moisturizer and sun protection. In the evening, use the following every second night. Niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%, 
Then finish with the Grain Active Retinoid 2% in Squalene. If you're a beginner or if you're more advanced and you've used retinol before consistently in your routine, you can use the Ordinary Retinol 0.2% in Squalene. You would then follow with Moisturizer. And then on the other evening nights, you can use Lactic Acid in your routine followed by your moisturizer. As usual, you should always patch test prior to using any new active ingredients. Follow the product and usage directions on the labels. 70% of your skin results come down to the correct home care skincare routine. These are the exact skincare ingredients you should include in your routine if you are trying to treat any form of hyperpigmentation. For stubborn pigmentation, advanced professional skin treatments, depending on your Fitzpatrick type and the form of hyperpigmentation to accelerate your results are chemical peels, microneedling, and Cosmolan. If you're interested in learning about the world's best depigmentation treatment, Cosmolan, then check out this video here.